I don't know if it was just me, but I thought NVIDIA stock already reported earnings, but I come to find out that tomorrow NVIDIA stock is going to be reporting earnings. So let's go ahead and just talk about it. All right, guys, you guys know what to do. I hope that I earn your thumbs up and hopefully you can consider subscribing if you feel like we earned it. So first off, NVIDIA today based off of expectations that are to be, you know, uh, released uh, when it comes down to its earning reports tomorrow. It's going to be on November 21st. NVIDIA stock hit all-time highs today. So if we look at the day chart here on the Webull trading application, we can see that right now NVIDIA stock is the most valuable it's ever been based off of its history. It currently sits at a trillion dollar market cap. Not billion, not million, trillion. 1.25T, 1.25 trillion sitting at 505.48 really helping out the NASDAQ market with not just this performance, but also Microsoft, of course, based off of what happened over the weekend and the former chief of OpenAI now joining the forces of Microsoft into um, being able to lead its AI department. So great news for NVIDIA. Things are getting factored in. What is the expectation? Very simple. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So NVIDIA's earning expectation for November 21st, 2023 is $3.36 for its earnings per share. That is the forecast. That is what the market's expecting NVIDIA to report. Now, of course, if it comes in less or lower than expected, we should see NVIDIA stock correct itself, right? If it comes in better than what was expected, we could see NVIDIA stock react in a positive way. Same thing when it comes down to revenue. $16.18 billion. It's a really big jump from its previous quarter of 11.13. But again, it's what the market is currently factoring in as the expectation for tomorrow. If it comes in lower than what was expected, we could see that the stock could drop. If it comes in higher than what was expected, we could see um, the video stock even make new highs, right? Not only do I want to talk about what the earnings expectations are, but also, it's really important uh, to understand that there's normally two parts to these earnings, right? There's the earning report and then the earnings call. In my opinion, the earnings call often tends to be more important. If they lower expectation during that earnings call, even if they beat expectation on their earnings report, it can cause the stock to drop. And we've seen this many, many times, especially when Google reported earnings, Microsoft reported earnings, all of big tech pretty much beat earnings. But do you remember that a few of them were selling off shortly after they reported? Reported. And that's because their guidance was lowered, right? Studying, talking about, you know, think about yourself as an investor in NVIDIA. If you hear that their executives are be like, hey, next quarter, we expect demand to be lower or whatever the case might be, right? Anything that lowers expectation of this stock's performance can encourage current investors to potentially want to get out, especially when we sit at all time highs for NVIDIA. So a lot is on the line, but also it's a perfect recipe just to continue the same momentum that we've seen for the past couple of days, right? NASDAQ market is coming off of a really strong bull rally. NVIDIA stock is at all time highs. And what better time for NVIDIA stock because of its big focus on AI that all this is happening as OpenAI and Microsoft are having their issues, right? Or their, uh, what would you call it? Acquisitions of CEOs, um, just like they had over the weekend. So it's going to be very interesting to see that once NVIDIA reports how the market reacts. And I want to remind you, based off of how NVIDIA, re you know, reacts can determine how the nasdaq market trades right this has such a large market cap at the 1.25 trillion dollars you cannot be surprised if this thing begins to sell off it can bring down the nasdaq market with it which therefore can bring down the rest of big tech with it right especially at these overbought levels but vice versa it can also send the overall markets to new highs, right? And if you look at QQQ, which is the NASDAQ ETF, and you look at those larger time frames on the day chart, you could see that we are not that far from at 390 to its all-time highs of 403. So will tomorrow be the day that we hit new all-time highs for NASDAQ? Or 
Is it going to be the start of a potential pullback based off of what is released? You guys let me know down in the comment section. Just wanted to make sure that you were aware that NVIDIA stock is going to be reporting earnings tomorrow, what the expectations were, and how and what it currently stands on. So again, that is ticker symbol NVDA. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to send me a direct message via Discord. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. And again, we will be covering this during tomorrow's live trading session, and I hope to see you there. If you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, remember, it's the second link in the description down below to one-time payment, lifetime access. And even if you're an absolute beginner, I would encourage you to just check it out and see if it's a good fit for you. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.